Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to explain and demonstrate how to create a white spot color in a PSD image. We're going to invert the file and save it as a monotone so that the fifth color information can be carried into the layout. We'll then take that PSD image into Illustrator or InDesign and print it on dark colored media. This will be a one pass process using only the white toner. Now there's probably a couple different ways to do this, but we're going to show you how to do it in Photoshop. Okay, the first thing we're going to do with our file open is turn it into a grayscale image. Go to Image, Mode, and select Grayscale. At this point, you may want to fuss with the levels to get the details just right. So next, we'll invert the image. Go to Image, Adjustments, Invert. It now looks like a photographic negative, and anything dark will pick up the fifth color white. Now to create our monotone, select Image, Mode, Duotone. Then under Type, select Monotone. We'll need to assign a color for this monotone as well. This is where the fifth color white comes into play. We're going to select Solid Magenta to easily see where the fifth color will print. We're going to name that new swatch White with a capital W. That way the Pro C7100X will know exactly where to print the fifth color white. Now save your file as a PDF or PSD to retain that fifth color information. We're now ready to place an InDesign. With our InDesign document open, we can place our image into the layout. To place our image, we'll go to File, and we'll select Place. You can also use the shortcut, Apple D. When you place the image, you'll notice the inclusion of the new fifth color white in your color palette. If you'd like to add any additional elements, say, some vector stars in the sky, all you need to do is apply the fifth color white. We're going to save our file as an Adobe PDF. Using the preset PDFX4, the proper format. If document trim marks and bleed settings are needed, they can be added now. Save your PDF and you're ready to print.